Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. We are continuing on our AC series today in which we'll be taking out the cooling coil unit, we'll be replacing the cooling coil, we'll be cleaning up the entire unit, and we'll assemble it back. Alright, not much narrative in this uh, episode. Just see how we do it. Let's get to it.
Okay. So one thing I noticed that is different. Okay, so one thing I noticed that's different, everything dimension, everything is the same. The only difference I see is this. This pipe is insulated. This isn't. This is. Should I? Nah. Moving on.
All right, so again, one, two, two, four clips, and make sure you align the pins. Right, then followed by the filter cover. Okay, next would be the other covers. Okay, so once this is in place, make sure it's in place, you put in this cover. Followed by three screws. Okay, once that's done, let's go to this cover. Alright, these are just clip-ons. Just push it down and you will have a good lock. Alright, then we will follow up with this cover. Same thing, just clip-on. I'm sorry. Okay, make sure you slide it in and clip it in. Okay, that's done. Next up is would be this very nice looking piece. Okay, just angle it and then just push it in. Then one screw over here. Okay, that's good. Next up, the computer box. Okay, so to install this, we need to flip this over. Okay. Put this in down here. One screw. Okay. All right. Now comes the electrical part, the clipping. So if it's if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, don't force it. Okay, next up, the vents. Mm, this is the side vent. Yep. Okay, followed by this type of plastic clips. Just push it in and then clip. Same goes with this. Uh, okay. Push it in and then there's supposed to be a plastic clip as well on the bottom. Okay, that's good. Next up would be this.
Hang on. Followed by two screws. Sorry, these are not the correct screws. Okay, these two screws are meant for this side. If it goes sideways, it's okay. Just readjust it back with a normal screwdriver, right? No biggie. And we should be done. There's All right, now that everything's assembled back, sort of. Uh, minus the dashboard. All right, I'm going to go and uh, have this. Um, gas uh, refill, the aircon gas as well as the um, pipelines vacuum prior to the insertion of the gas. Alright, so as you can see, I'm going straight but my steering is right. Okay, so stay tuned. Alright guys, that's how we change the cooling coil of the Proton Inspira aka Lancer 08 rematch. Alright, this is the actually the last part of the AC series whereby we have actually um, changed the condenser, the compressor as well as the cooling coil of the entire AC unit. Alright, the only things that we did not change is the AC lines, the wiring, the sensors and well as, as well as the switches. All right, those usually very rarely will break. All right, but the three main components, the cooling coil, compressor, and um, condenser, these are the things that uh, normally needs to either be serviced or changed. All right, so um, let me talk a bit about why we embark on this um, DIY series, this journey. So what happened was that my compressor jammed uh, so the aircon was no longer cold, it, it, it malfunctioned, alright? So it was just a compressor, uh, I actually did not need to replace any of the other things because uh, when I removed the compressor, the oil that came out is only slightly yellowish. It's not black, it's not dark, 
in color. So I could have gotten away with just changing the compressor without doing anything else, or I could have um, do like what most shops will do, whereby they will take apart the entire unit and then do a flushing. Um, that's something I didn't do as well because I have no confidence in my flushing uh, techniques. All right, so what I did was I changed the other things. Um, let's see. The cost of changing all this is actually not too expensive, especially the condenser and the cooling coil. Both is about 100 plus only each. So that's about less than less than $60 each. All right. Uh, bear in mind, these are not original Mitsubishi parts, but it works just as, just as fine. I've been using the car since December. So it's about almost two months or one and a half months uh, since the DIY was completed and let me tell you the aircon is North Pole cold Alright, it's perfectly fine Even when I, I am stuck in the jam or I'm stationary for half an hour The aircon continues running flawlessly cold Alright, so um, let's see what are things Okay, let's talk about the, this DIY level I would say I would rank it um, pretty high is something that is very technical and very difficult for normal at home DIYs uh, like myself as well. Okay, reason being is that uh, one, you have to have a lot of tools, a lot of patience, uh, a lot of experience because there's a lot of things that you need to remove before you can get access to all these things such as the dashboard, everything that's behind the dashboard, and uh, the front bumper, what's behind the front bumper, yeah, so that's that's a lot of things you have to remove before you can actually assess to these things. Else, if you don't have the confidence, I would suggest letting the shops do it. All right, and when I say uh, uh, let the shops do it, make sure you survey around. If they are going to charge you more than six hundred ringgit or one hundred fifty dollars uh, USD for labor, nope, go to another shop. All right, I would rank this as probably a six hundred ringgit uh, worth kind of a DIY. All right. So it took me a couple of days to get this done, uh, mainly because uh, I, I wasn't doing it full time. I took apart bit by bit whenever I have, a, I have free time. All right. Okay, let's see. All right. Um, some of you might notice uh, certain parts doesn't make sense in, in all these three videos in this entire series. Um, reason being is that uh, I was using two cameras this time. All right, I, if you if you guys notice, I recently purchased a GoPro, so I was thinking of a point of view kind of a video, whereby it's on the on the mounted on the head. All right, but unfortunately, this is the first time I'm doing it, and the viewing angle I'm not used to it, and most of the recording turned out to be either out of focus or out of. It's not even focused. It's all over the place all right yeah so i apologize for missing a couple of things in the videos uh, mainly the uh, proper removal of the cooling coil unit from the car so if i were to talk about it on the firewall side there's four things you need to remove two uh two coolant pipes that's for the heater and then two more ac pipes uh for the aircon all right that was about it. Um, the video was actually recording the the windscreen rather than the lower part. Yeah. So sorry about that. I'll definitely improve uh, in the future. And yeah, I think that's all I got to talk about about this time. So as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you hate it, you can always hit this and leave us a comment on how we can improve further in the future. All right. Um. What else? Um, if you want to share this video to your friends, do you think it helps them? Go ahead, hit the share button. And if you have not done it already, make sure you hit the subscribe because we have a lot more DIYs coming in the future. All right, till next time, see you.